Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aquariuses. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your weekly reading. This is for uh, my Aquarius's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for um, the week of July 21st through July 28th. Thank you so much, so much, so much, Aquariuses, for all your love and support. I wanted to come on here and just individualize all of my thank yous for each one of my astrological signs and so i want to just tell you thank you thank you for your support thank you for your love your kind words of encouragement your text messages your emails i read all of them i try to respond back to every single person even the comments on my on my channel i try to respond to everybody so thank you thank you thank you so much we want to get into your reading okay so first of all i want to um i wanted to just say thank you first the second thing i wanted to just um say to you is that if you um were a winner of one of the crystals that i was giving away on july 7th 16th um then i sent you an email letting you know that you were a winner asking you for your address if you didn't originally provide it um and then just know that your crystal has gone out um, and I sent you an email just saying, hey, you won, your crystal has gone out. Um, if you haven't received it yet, send me an email with the original email attached and so that I can send you back a tracking number, okay? All right. And then third, um, if a lot of people have been asking me about personal readings, and so I have been offering personal readings. So those of you, you know who I'm talking to, if you've received a personal reading from me, thank you again so much for your support. And again, I've been receiving a lot of love from the personal readings. And so um, if you need my telephone number, not only is it on my um, my channel, in the about section of my channel, um, also my, um, I'll just give you that information right now. It's 202 is the area code. 460-3205 is a telephone number, okay? All right, let's get into your personal reading. I'm sorry, let's not personal reading. Let's get into your general reading, okay? Okay, Aquarius. So what do we know about our Aquariuses? We know that our Aquariuses are very open-minded people. You're very progressive. You're original, you're independent, you're humanitarian, you're very creative, you're free-spirited, and you're very intellectual. Of course, you are an air sign, so by default, intellectual and very, very powerful, right? So these are our high vibrating Aquariuses, right? So, um, and I know all of you are vibrating at a high frequency. So I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you, to all of my high vibrating frequency Aquariuses. Um, by the way, I'm using the Mystic Monday cards and I also have, these are the Mystic Monday tarot cards, but I also have um, um, oracle cards here i have the monology oracle cards and i also have the sacred vision oracle cards and we'll get into that in just a second let's get into your reading okay most i got in the universe please give me a special reading for my aquarius as it relates to power and intellect as it relates to money and wealth as it relates to their spirituality and them taking action also as it relates to um their creativity and their emotions Okay, let's get into it, Aquarius. Let's get into your reading. All right, let's see what we have, Aquarius. Uh huh. Okay, so this is good. This is really, really good, Aquarius. Look. Okay, I have um, some major arcana. I have the magician card, which is attached to the Virgo and the um, Gemini. Um, and I also have the star card. So what this is first letting me know is that I need you to, um, you're, you're, first of all, you are a visionary and a leader, right? This is attached to your fire energy, right? The fire inside of you. This is the um, attached to the fire um, elements, which is the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So some of you could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart. Um, but this is also just about you for the moment. So this is the fire that you have inside of you. So a lot of you are just like on fire. You know that your star is bright, shining bright. This is directly your card, right? You know that your, your fire is shining bright. This is the Aquarius card. But again, this is also like um, this is attached to the Gemini and the Virgo, right? What's interesting about this is that their planet was in retrograde, right? Their planet is Mercury. And so when their planet was in retrograde, there was a lot of disruption and communication and te technology but you have a clear your your communication is very very clear whether you're communicating with other people or the messages that you're receiving from the universe it's just crystal clear right so i just need you to continue just being still 
just being still and listening and tapping in. You have a toolbox filled with like mystic messages, um, information coming from the universe is an infinite wisdom and knowledge, you know, so just be continue to be still. You are a visionary. You are a leader. You have an entrepreneurial spirit. So a lot of you are start, starting to think about starting your own businesses. And is in the area of you starting your own business, when it comes to your spirituality, you're going to just take off like a rocket. Just constant progression, just going up, 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 and up. And not only are you a picture of wealth, you are actually wealthy. Okay? So because I see spirituality as being like the dominant, dominant, dominant thing here... What I'm saying is that that's an area where you're going to really take off. That's an area where you're really, really going to excel. But I need you to just be still. Like really pay attention to what the universe is telling you. Very, 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 very powerful. Okay, Aquarius? Very powerful. See, even in areas where you think that there's lack, there really is no lack. There's clear communication coming through for you, clear communication, and it's coming directly from the universe. So even if you have a bunch of people around you that's not shining bright because you're shining the brightest, you're the star, um, th your messages are still coming through very, very clear. I need you to pay attention. This is the spiritual piece, right? Spiritual piece. Messages are coming through very, very, very clear. Yep. You have some more major arcanas here. You have the... Um, you have the Hermit card. You have the Moon card. Oh, you also have the Empress card. So, yeah, like I said, keep watering your investments. Like, really keep watering your investments. Look, look at all these um, these cards coming through. You're spending a lot of time by yourself, like introspection mode. Like, you kind of gone into Hermit mode because, again, you're receiving a lot of messages. At this time that you're going through receiving, this is attached to the Virgo. At the time that you're receiving all these messages, you're actually letting some things die so something else wonderful and beautiful can be reborn inside of you. This is that free-spirited um, Aquarius that you are. You're even looking back at your shadow self of like how things used to be and you're moving forward. Like you're thinking about all the, the um, mountains that you've had to come through to get to where you are right now and life is just sweet. Like you're at peace, the fruits of your labor are just flowing, you're strong, you have the universe, the sun behind you. The sun, by the way, is also a star, so you're shining bright, like you're on full display. You are, you're naked, and I'm talking about naked in terms of like not necessarily not having on clothes, we're talking about like, you know, naked and just vulnerable, just receiving all this good energy from the universe. I'm going to put these here for just a second. I'm going to see if I can just like connect all of this, if I can connect all of these to this one thing right here but yeah i mean some wonderful things are happening for you and you have the backing of the universe that's why i said i need you to just to stay still not only that you're just coming through you're just at peace you're just that free spirit that you've always been you're a star you're just on fire but a lot of, but all of this is attached to your spiritual journey so for those of you who have not started your spiritual journey know that it's going to be a quick progression for you you're just going to like take off and if you're thinking about starting your business hey go do it even if you're working with some if you're working somewhere right now you can start it as a side business but it's going to progress it's going to be great for you it's going to be great like i said you're watering your investments right now let me show you something with the pentacles cards this is attached to money and wealth you're watering your investments right now, so you're doing more reading, you're studying, you're um, investing in yourself, you're thinking about investing your money, you know, maybe like in stocks and bonds and stuff, but you're watering your investments right now, so you're doing some studying up on that, because look at this, you're the picture of wealth, picture of wealth, this is wonderful, that's why I need you to just be still and know that the universe and the most high God really, really has your back, Aquarius, because like I said, any areas that you think you're lacking in, let's say, for instance, you think you're lacking in stock. All of a sudden, you're going to come across people that like you have somebody right in your sphere of influence that knows about stock. They know about investing. That's one thing that's in your tool belt. Let's say you want to learn more about spirituality. There are people that you can tap into right around you that can help you on your spiritual journey, like iron sharpening iron. And again, you tap into your tool belt. This is infinite wisdom and knowledge. So some wonderful things are happening for you, Aquarius, okay? So I need you to keep watering your investments. Let's get an oracle card for you. Let's see the moonology card. Meditate and contemplate. New moon and, and Pisces. Yeah, so for some of you, 
You either have maybe like um, friends that are Pisces. Pisces are highly intuitive people or Pisces could be your midheaven, right? Or it could be somewhere in your chart. But nevertheless, you're tapping into that emotional piece. You're tapping into that creative energy and those juices that you have. That's why it's about meditating, blocking everything else out. This is where you go introspection right here and you put to death some things in the past. You've already had to put some things to death in the past, but look how you come out, the empress. Look at this. Lots of fruit, very strong, receiving all your energy from the sun. Remember, the sun is also a star, right? So this is right there in your, this is right there in your element. Meditate and contemplate. Think some wonderful things are happening for you. And so, um, yeah. So when I when I share information about astrological signs, we're not talking about low vibrating energy. We're talking about very high vibrating energy, right? Very high vibrating energy. So, you know, um, when it says new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate, yep, intent. Yep. This is like a new beginning for you, a fresh start for you. Two plus zero. Okay, so the number 20 carries its own um, power, the vibration. And we're talking about numerology. We're not talking about uh, mathematics when we're talking about like uh, vibrating energy. So every number carries its own power, okay? And so the number 20 by itself is about awakening. There's an awakening happening with you, right? And so with this awakening, it's a spiritual awakening happening for you. The two, the number two, the root number of 20 is two in numerology. That is about like an intimate desire to merge with, you know, another person. Um, this is a, this is, um, to join them, to create a space, right? In twos, right? So that's what I'm saying. Like, this is about not only a great awakening, this is about you creating a desire to merge and go higher in the universe. You and the most high God, you and the universe, you connecting with yourself, the lowercase g, you connecting with God, right? That's what this two is about. This is what the 20 is about. It's about an awakening. That is why I said when you go, <clears throat> you delve higher, um, that's why to some people, like they don't understand this journey because you sh you're shining so bright and anything that you think you don't have in a natural realm, spiritually you have it. All you have to do is tap into it. And that's what this going in introspection is about. But yeah, look at you, natural leader, entrepreneur, your free spirit, you're on fire. This is about progression. This is in your, in your spiritual journey. Your spiritual journey is amazing. What's happening with you right now, that's why I need you to just be patient. Be patient with yourself. When we have all these planets in retrograde and we have some planets stationed direct, not right now, we also have a new moon in Cancer. That's a lot of emotion attached to that. Lots of stuff happening with a lot of people, Aquarius. I need you to stay focused. Even if you have Cancer in your chart as an Aquarius, you know some things are internal. You could be having a lot of dreams about different people, a lot of things. I need you to be still and stay focused. Those dreams mean something. The universe will tell you what those dreams mean. And then you get into your meditative state um, because of this awakening that you have, right? And so that's what I need you to focus on. I really, really need you to focus on um, your spiritual journey because you're going places. And again, it's a directly attached to your money. So keep investing in yourself because the money is going to come. And I'm talking about a lot of wealth money is coming. So focus on that. Like I said, you have tons of people around you. Every time you reach into your toolbox, boom, something happens. Everything that you have, everything that you need, you have because you have, you have a sphere of influence on people that have gifts that they may not even realize they have. And so when you tap into that, and then you realize, wow, iron is sharpening iron, and all of it is, all of it is aiding me in my spiritual journey. Whether you're listening to mediums psychics, tarot card readers, astrologers, astronomers, numerologists, um, just everyday people who don't even know what kind of gifts they have. You're having all of this in these conversations with people. And you're also remembering because your spiritual journey, people are coming to you asking you for advice, spiritual advice. And so that's why you had to go in and you had to kill any doubt and fear so that you could give birth to this 
great awakening happening for you right now. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. I'm so excited for your journey. I want you to be just as excited for your journey because you are a star. You really, really are a star. It's time to really meditate and contemplate next steps for you. Because like I said, with this number 20, this is about great awakening. There is a great awakening happening. And so anything that you don't feel like you have, you have it. You already have it. Infinite wisdom and knowledge all around you. Clear, concise communication. There's no breakdown in communication. So tap into all of that. So have a great week to all of my Aquariuses. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your love and support. I read all your comments, your emails, your text messages. And I, I appreciate all of them. Any constructive feedback, I appreciate all of that because it's, it serves to help me to be a better teacher in all of this. Um, so thank you. I appreciate you. Have a great week. Okay. Bye.